All right, guys, what's going on? Just training back. I'm fucking out of breath. I just finished my top set. Did a different variation on pullover now. Got the Vulcan strap and also did chest supported on the bench there. So it felt a lot harder, a lot better too. So didn't know how much weight I was going to get. I already got 15 reps in my first set. So next week, I was expecting probably like 12 reps for this, this week, but going to have to bump up the weight for next week. Connection to the lats feel a lot better. Just driving my head and chest into the pad. So there's no move. No moving parts except for my arm and my elbow down into the into my low lap. Definitely gonna keep keep that in. And next set here when I catch my breath, I'll do same weight for a max rest pause. So just go to failure, 20 second rest, and failure again. And uh, let's uh, let's get into it. It's so fucking hard doing it like that. Jesus. I couldn't get that one. Shit. That was a fucking phenomenal set. Jeez. Woo. Okay. Magpole restricted my wrist mobility and I couldn't really get onto my lats that well, so swapping these for this week feels a lot better. I'm gonna keep running with it. Uh, I find it just it's easier to go deeper since the distance to the 
the top of the cable attachment there where it hooks on to the actual handle is further. Just feels more natural and better on my lats. I'm not natural. <laughs> All right, top set time. I think this one's like eight to two, or no, it's like a set of 10 to 12 in it. So we'll see how this goes. Sixteen or seventeen reps there. I was like, I was, I was supposed to do twelve, man. Oh fuck. Okay. <sighs> Doing my rest pause here. So, with the same weight as last time, which was like fucking ridiculously light for my top set. But, eh. Oh well, next week I'll just up it. Just means I'm getting stronger, which is good. So hopefully they go back. dumbbell row now. Um, just finished up with the pull down. Felt a lot better with the, uh, the grip change. Was able to get deeper into the lats. A lot better connection. Feeling fucking phenomenal today. It was weird. Past few days in prep, they were... <laughs> it was hard. So, today I'm going to be fucking just going balls to the wall with it. If I have the energy, these days are numbered now. Five and a half weeks out, so... Use, them, use it while I can. Uh, I think last week I only got like 12 reps of that weight. This week I got five more. I don't know if that was from the grip change or me feeling good or both. Two sets like last time. I think first set is like 10 to 12 or 8 to 10. No, I think it's 10 to 12. And then back off set at 20, 20 reps. So, and last week I did this fourth movement. This week I'm doing a third like I'm supposed to. So I think I might even pick up the 90s and see how they feel. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do 90s for 10 to 12. Again, just keep my feet together. Head digging into my uh, my arm, into the chair. Just driving my elbow up into my hips. And having the dumbbell just basically like graze my leg almost, just up and down. It's probably the best dumbbell, vari dumbbell row variation I've done. Because I've done a lot and I've butchered a lot. This one feels best for me. So I'm going to keep running with it. Oh. 
Oh no. Okay. Holy shit. That was a good set. Fuck. Probably should have done a warm up though. <laughs> I just jumped straight into it cold. So, uh, fourth movement now, T-bar row here, uh, chest supported. So, two changes from last week. Now it's fourth, because it's my proper rotation. Fucked, the, fucked that up last week. And second change I'm doing is having the foot pad lower. So the chest, uh, the chest pad is like right up, almost at my collarbone, so my chest can't cave in over the pad, and possibly getting more like momentum, so that stays locked in place, but my shoulders can still, I can still uh, really reach around in my scapula and really stretch, so, for the mid-back, which is what we're trying to target, so. It's hard to breathe. Fuck. Okay, so just finished up top set there. Missed out on the reps there. Got nine. Not not biggest deal because rep range is 10 to 12. So next week I'll just get 10 or I'll just maybe take the 10s off each side and just do a plate. Form could have been a little better. So yeah, I'll, I'll back off the way for next week. Now I got a fucking set of 30 for... Just a straight set of 30. So, fuck me. Oh my god. Nah. I'm getting 30 this week, holy shit. You're like 21. Fuck that. Oh, on to the last exercise now. Uh, the back workout. Same thing as last week. Little, uh, I don't even know what to call this. Low row, hammer strength low row, corner row, because it's in the corner. I, don't know. I think I had three plates last week, and I think I had like 12 reps, so I'll bump up the weight a little. I might put 25s on. Since I'm feeling really good today, I'll, uh, I'll test my luck. If the form, the form dies out, then I'll, I'll, I'll drop it back down. One thing I did mention last week when I filmed this is that when I'm doing this, movement in particular especially is I'm always trying to keep my shoulders depressed so that I can keep the load on my mid-back or my lats when I'm rowing. So the only thing moving is my elbow from here to here to keep my shoulder depressed because the moment I start shrugging on my shoulder, it takes the load right off my lat and my mid-back all onto my trap. So for me, my traps are not a weak point, so I'm not trying to engage them more than I have to and keep it all in the mid-back and the lats where I need it. So let's jump into this soft set here. That was good. Oof.
Oh no. Oh, drop set time. Oh, fuck me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking tired now. Jesus. That's in a lot of fun. Shit. You wear less clothes next time. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Oh.